Music Printing in a Renaissance Age Music printing in a movable type would be considered the most significant change in the 16th century. This would have a positive effect on music education and music history. This led to the dissemination of written music to a broader public and also fostered the growth of musical literacy. Printed music was now uniform versus the past where it was down to written notation. Copies were few containing errors and variations. Now printed music would mean a wider distribution. Music was now available to professionals and amateurs. This helped spread the works of composers to a wider audience. Right now I like to talk about the development of music printing in movable type. Movable type existed in China for centuries. It was perfected by Johann Gutenberg around 1450 and 20 years later first used for music printing in the 1470s. In 1501 Ottavio Petrucci publishes the Harmony Musices Oregaton or a hundred polyphonic pieces. This is a very important book because it is the first collection of polyphonic music printed by movable type. Later on in the 16th century, most music books published were part books. Right now, let's watch a video illustrating music, typeface, and how they used in music printing. Still. Here at the Plantin Moretus Museum in Antwerp, we have some preserved examples of 16th century music type. And we can see how the printed music was literally put together. For each note, you would need a separate piece of type. Here's one with the note head on the middle line of the stave. If you wanted to build an ascending scale, you would go from there to one with a piece of type on the next space and then on the next line up and the next space and on the top line. You could save the number of pieces of type by turning it the other way up and so now we have the ascending scale of all the notes from the bottom line up to the middle line. As music typeface continued, demand for music books grew. Printed music became more affordable, and by the end of the 16th century, Rome, Nuremberg, Lyons, Louvain, Antwerp, and London, along with Venice and Paris, became publishing centers. Right now, let's look at the effects of the standardization of typeface. In manuscript, usually has the stems going to the sides of the note heads, left or right, whichever the composer or copyist preferred. Music printing eventually followed this convention. But in order to make the note invertible, it standardized the pattern. And in fact, it then gradually changed the way people wrote manuscript music so that the down stem went to the left hand side of the head and the up stem to the right hand side. The disadvantages of movable type. The disadvantages included irregular spacing because of the varying sizes of the movable type. Adding text was very difficult. Fast passages could not be duplicated. In conclusion, movable type printing had a positive influence on music and music education because music became more available to a wider audience and general public. It standardized notation and it led to the wider distribution of music and eventually music textbooks to be used for education and classrooms.